I got to talk. I got to tell what I feel. I got to talk about my life as I see it. Biggie. Uh. Uh -huh. uh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So this video I wanted to make um, that talked about how to find time to learn to code. Man, uh, I hear a lot of people say that. I ain't got no time for that, man. How did you find time to learn to code? Like I said, I, I got kids. I got an old lady. I was working full time at the hotel at the time, struggling. We were struggling, man, living in a little tiny condo with five people in it, all on top of each other. Um, but I still did it. So for me, you got to make time. If something's important, you make time for it. If you got little ones at home like I did, you get those little ones in the bed at night and you got a couple free hours before you knock out and go to sleep. Instead of turning on the Xbox or turning on the game, I'm talking to myself here. I was a big Xbox player, Call of Duty all day. Me and my stepson used to play it for like hours and hours and hours. We get on there, uh, you know, busting some noobs heads on, on Call of Duty. Uh, but I had to put that down, man. I, I don't even have my Xbox anymore. I gave it to my seven-year-old son. I ain't touched Xbox. I ain't played the Xbox game now in probably two years. Um, and I, it, the funny thing is I was standing by uh, these young kids when I was traveling, going to work in Denver. Um, and they were talking about he had did a job interview and was talking out loud. And, uh, you know, I started conversing with them. And I told them, you, you know what, man? I tell you what, my salary went up three times when I put that Xbox controller down. And they just, they couldn't believe it. They started laughing. But it's really true. Once I put that Xbox controller down, you know, my pay doubled. And now has tripled from what it was when I was working at that hotel. So uh, you got to make that time, man. Take that couple of hours. If you get them in bed at 8 o'clock at night, you know, you got 9, 10, 11 to work. Before you go to bed and got to get up at 7 or whatever it is, you can get, still get a full night's rest, man, and still get in two, three hours of programming. Uh, what I would do a lot of times, too, I would go to work early. I'd leave the house, go to work early, like an hour early, sometimes two hours early. I would go sit down in our dining facility. We had uh, in the basement where the employees ate in the hotel. They had Wi-Fi connectivity down there. So I'd go there. Get in a little, little corner of the dining facility. I pull up my little laptop. I'm sitting there with, with my headphones on, just watching those uh, tutorials and doing the coding challenges and learning, man. Same thing there. I would leave the house and uh, go around the corner. We had a Starbucks around the corner. So I'd go sit at the Starbucks for an hour or two just to get something in. Uh, every day, I wanted to be writing some code. And that's a big tip that I can give you. Write a little bit of code every day. I don't care if you got the busiest day in the world. You only got five minutes. Sit down and watch a video, at least. Watch a video, write one line of code, do something. Over time, that compounds, man. It seems like nothing when you're doing it, but that compounds. As the months tick on and you get to a year and you look back at what you didn't know and what you do know today, man, you're light years ahead of the guy that kept making excuses, that wasn't writing some code every day, man, you'll be amazed. So do that. Um, I would also stay late after work and do the same thing. I'd get off of work. Everybody else went home. Man, the last thing I want to do was stay in that building. When it when it's time to punch that clock, them people was punching that clock and they was peeling rubber up out of there. But I'd punch the clock and I'd go back in that dining facility, man, and I'd get me in another hour or something, 30 minutes or something. Uh, just to learn and teach the code. And that's how that's how I did it. I'd even sit in the parking garage sometimes. Sit in the parking garage. I had a little air card. I'd get on my little air card, man, or, or use my... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people can use their phone as a hotspot. i use my little phone or whatever, jump online for 30 minutes before work, just sit there. I had to get out of the house because I had little bitty kids. There's no way I could get any type of learning done when I'm in the house. They crawling all over me. Uh, the... the the old lady's yelling at him to pick this up, pick that up. It's just hectic. It was hectic at the time. So I had to get out the house to learn. That's why I was going to work early, staying to work late, uh, studying in the parking garage, going to Starbucks, uh, putting the kids to bed, and then going and watching some videos and learning. 
it drove my old lady crazy. Um, she was, why are you always on that computer? You always got that thing on your lap. You know, she wanted my time. And, you know, I tried to, to tell her, you know, my saying is, babe, we got to do a short-term sacrifice for this long-term gain. But that's hard to see, man. That's hard to see when you ain't there yet. When we stand in that little condo and it's cramped and money is tight and money is the number one cause of conflict in a relationship, lack thereof, rather, um, and she wanted out of that condo, the kids kept it a mess, and she is a super neat freak, ODC neat freak. Everything needs to be in its place. Everything needs to be clean. And that condo would be a mess because it was just too small to have five people in it. Like, it just it wasn't no room. So she was fed up to here with that living situation and the money being tight. And I'm trying to do everything I can at work. I'm working all the hours I can get. I was on call at the time. You know, I was like 20 people ahead of me on the on-call list. So I know that struggle. That struggle is real, man. That struggle is really real. Not getting no hours when it got to be November, December, the slow seasons here in Vegas. Man, I know that struggle. Power turned off. Gas turned off at some times, you know. So that, that's it. We sent the kids to grandma before because we ain't had no, uh, no power in the place, you know. So just trust me. Whatever you thinking of, I done been there, man. I done been there. Trust me. But you got to you gotta stay strong. Short-term sacrifice for long-term gain. And short-term might mean a year or two years even. But you, gotta, you, can't, you can't say that. You can't sell your partner if you're in a family. You can't sell your partner on short-term sacrifice, long-term gain, and then you not do your part. You better be busting your butt every day. Not every day, every day. You best be busting your butt to do what you're supposed to do to set yourself up for success, all right? That's how you learn. That's how you give yourself time to learn the code, and you just gotta push it every single day, man. You still doing your same daily? You still got that career that you got right now that you're looking to get out of, maybe? Or maybe you just want more money than your career opportunity currently offers, um, and you wanna get into to programming or coding, but you gotta stay focused you got to gotta keep going. It's going to get hard. It's going to get frustrating. Trust me. I've been there. I wanted to quit, man. I, I, I thought I wasn't smart enough to get this coding thing down. I get stuck on problems for days sometimes. I couldn't figure it out for days. And I just kept going. I, you know, I would get mad. I, I would get mad at my current situation, like so frustrated that I wanted out. And I knew... That if I gave up on this programming thing, what else was I going to do? What else was I going to do, man? So I kept pushing. I, I would look at some of the people, um, you know, in the hotel where that was their career. You know, they were in their 40s, 50s, some 60s. And they were still in that hotel, you know, guest mad, yelling at them, all that stuff. I was like, I, I don't want that to be me, you know. I, I didn't want that to be me, so... You got to push. You got to stay focused. Stay on task. And I promise you'll get there. You'll get there. I pushed. I started putting out resumes before I was ready. And somebody took a shot on me. All it takes is that one person to take a shot on you. That's all you need. You get that one person to take a shot on you. Once you get your foot in the door, the first job is the hardest job to get into. Once you get your foot in that door... It's like somebody put the validation stamp on you like, okay, this person's good enough to actually get paid to do this programming thing. Then everybody else wants to mess with you as well. So you get in that first job. You put your time in at that first job, right? Learn your skills. Don't stop learning just because you got that first job. Still take that time to, to keep up in your skills because in, in reality, when you get your, that first job, you really don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. You feel like you know a lot and you feel accomplished. But you really don't know nothing. And you don't realize you don't know nothing until you get about three or four years in and you look back at you at that first job and you realize, man, I don't know why they was paying me at that first job. I didn't know nothing. So uh, that's it, man. Leave questions below. I ain't going to ramble on no more. Y'all, I want to see you succeed, man. Holler at me if you got questions. Subscribe. Hit the bell so you get all my other videos when they come in. You'll get the little notification. I used to not know what the little bell meant. But you'll actually get a notification or an email if you click the bell 
um, when somebody posts. So if you like the videos, find value out of them, click the bell. You'll get my notifications when I drop another email. I always holler at me. I'm gonna holler back at you um, as long as this, you know, this channel stays relatively uh, uh, small enough. I'm gonna always try to get back at you, man, because I want to see you succeed. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.